2022 is essentially wrapped up and 2023 is almost here. So if you're wondering what you should be doing in order to properly prepare for 2023, the new year, let's get started. meaning that you want to go ahead and get a notebook, a, a pen, and write down everything that you've done good and everything that you've done bad. Reflect on everything where you did good, where you did bad, and what you could have done to do even better on the good things and what you learned from the bad things. So just because you may have taken an L or anything else like that doesn't mean that you failed or you lost or it's, it's done, you should never try it. Don't think of it like that but rather think of it as a life lesson that you can go ahead and improve upon for the next year. And in terms of the good things, what can you do to even better that performance so that the brand new year, you're even more skyrocketing towards that success and exactly what you're working on. So that's the first thing that you want to go ahead and do in order to better prepare for the brand new year. The next thing that you want to go ahead and do, which is number two, is you want to write down your short-term and long-term goals and keep them monitored. Meaning that if you want to go ahead and lose 10 pounds, write it down. If you want to go ahead and build a business, write it down. If you want to go ahead and work on anything else or achieve anything or get anything, write it all down because studies show that you're way more likely to achieve those goals if it's written down. And it may seem that we may not need to write it down in this technological world, but trust me, go ahead and go the traditional route, write it down, keep it on your desk, and you're like, all right, so by January, I want to do this. By March, I want to do that, and so forth. That way, you keep yourself accountable, you make sure that you're progressing towards those goals, but at the same time, you want to write down the plan of execution as to how you're going to achieve those goals. It's not just writing, I want a million dollars, and waking every day and be like, hmm, I don't have it yet. You have to execute the plan in order to work on those specific goals and in order to achieve them by the time you want to achieve them. Make sense? So the next thing that you want to go ahead and do, number three, is going to be make sure that you take care of your health and fitness. So health and fitness is something that a lot of people want to begin when the new year is around the new year, new me, new year's resolution. I'm going to do blah, 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 and this and that. But a lot of people give up way too soon. Does that mean that you're going to achieve anything? Maybe, but maybe not. You have to be realistic. So you can't go ahead and say, I want to lose 100 pounds in two weeks. It's just not realistic. But you can't also say, I want to lose one pound in a month. You can go ahead and lose more than that. So you have to be realistic, set smart goals, and execute it because you can achieve anything that you set your mind to, no matter how crazy it may seem now, but two months from now, a year from now, you can be like, whoa, it seemed crazy when I was executing and writing down my goals in December of 2022, and now it's December of 2023, and I achieved it, or I overachieved it, or I'm so close to getting to it. No matter how long it takes, no matter what you have to do, improvise or anything else like that, you want to go ahead and work on it, grind on it. No matter what you do, you want to make sure that you're doing exactly that. Because in terms of your health and fitness, if you do not take care of your body, your body will then force you to take care of your body. And it will do that by health conditions. So high blood pressure, diabetes, and so forth. You don't want to go ahead and reach that point, you want to go ahead and minimize that by taking care of your health now that you're able to. So if you're watching this and, and you want to take at least one thing from this video is prioritize your fitness because in the future it will catch up to you. It doesn't matter if you're 10 years old, it doesn't matter if you're 80 years old, it will eventually catch up to you and you cannot work in a bad diet. You want to make sure and prioritize both fitness, nutrition, those two things, so obviously working out on a consistent basis, 
keeping yourself active and making sure that you have proper nutrition, making sure that you have a high protein diet and everything in regards to that. The next thing that I want you to go ahead and do before the, the year comes to an end is number four, go ahead and take a retreat. So what do I mean by that? So whether you go out somewhere, you take a flight, a vacation or anything else that it may be, you want to go ahead and relax recuperate and ready your mental so that you are ready to kick off the brand new year with a punch that way you're not scrambling just walking around all right new year let's get to it the same old same old no you want to go ahead and get ready for the new year you want to be ecstatic you want to be ready to go that way by the time that it hits january 1st Midnight, you want to go ahead and be ready. You know exactly what you're going to do. You know exactly what you're going to achieve. And you're not one of those scramblers that are like, uh, my new year new me is uh, is uh, the same thing as last year, but I know I'm not going to achieve it. No, you want to be different. You want to be unique. You want to know how you're going to achieve it. Those are the things that are important. So before the new year comes to an end, you want to go ahead and prioritize something for you, whether it's going on a flight, traveling to a new country. It can be something so simple as going to a library somewhere quiet so that you can go ahead and calm down and recoup. Or it can be something like simply going and getting a massage. Regardless of what that may be for you and your financial income, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be extravagant, but it doesn't have to be super, super simple that something that you do every day but something where you're going to enjoy your time, whatever that may be, and that's going to help you kickstart your mental so that you are ready for a brand new year. Those are the top things that I recommend doing so that you are ready to kickstart the brand new year. So I'm gonna round this video right here. Remember, new videos every Tuesday, every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and YouTube Shorts on the daily, so stay tuned for that. And if you like this video or want more recommendations as to what I recommend for the brand new year, go ahead and comment it down below because I'm always responding to you guys. So give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ariel Sorio, signing out. Thank you.